So in Lambda's theorem, if a circular cylinder of constant wall thickness is subjected to internal and external pressures, this PI and P0, the deformation produced is symmetrical about the axis of the cylinder and will not change. So if I were to extract the, the deformation as it is, it will be something like this. So we have the radio stresses, the, the change sigma r plus d sigma r over after the deformation and, tangential and the tangential stresses. So if I were to solve, if I were to solve this diagram, we would have um, sigma r times the radius times the change in the change in the the d data. So the sigma r is facing outwards, so it will be a minus sign. So minus sigma r plus d sigma r over dr. Acting over <coughs> r plus dr times d beta. We also have our tangential stress plus sigma theta acting over dr times d beta. This should add up to zero. Now if I were to solve this, I would have sigma r dot. If I were to remove the brackets, it would be sigma r. Put dr. Now, if I were to open these brackets, what, the, what I would have would be something like this. Now, these two will add up to zero, um, and this term, so there was a, there's a dr here, should be a dr. So that we have two drs. Now this term, this term is too small, so it will tend to go to zero. So now my final term here will be negative sigma r to minus d sigma r over dr dr. Now. I want, what I want to do is divide all those terms by dr d theta, dr d theta. My final result will be sigma theta minus sigma r, since this cancels this, this and this, and this, leaving my result as sigma theta minus sigma r d sigma r over dr is equals to zero. So I'll leave this as my equation one. 
آفرین به سیما دیتا مینس سیما آر مینس دی سیما آر دی آر از پاستو زیرا نو دیس ویل بی مای کوشن وان نو فو هوکس لو فو هوکس لو این اتراتس استرس اتراتس استرس تیت ویچ ایز 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 ام دیتس In this equation, I will let sigma r plus sigma theta be equal to 2a. Now, if I let it that be that way, I will then make one the subject. So I make sigma theta is equal to 2a minus sigma r. That's my second equation. So now, I will substitute, substitute my equation 1, equation 2 into equation 1. Now what I then get is I will get 2a minus 2 sigma r minus r d sigma r over dr is equals to 0. What I want to do is put my 2a minus 2 sigma r in the other side. So that I have two sig um, a minus sigma r. What I then do is to make I put dr negative r over dr to the other side and a minus sigma r to this other side. So what I'm saying is I divide by a minus sigma r in both sides and multiply the equation, the equation above, this equation, by negative r, negative dr over r, both sides. So, if I integrate, integrate both sides of this equation, of this equation, what I then have, I have, this plus my constant this is my constant so this will then be equal to that log e you know that if I put negative 2 the other side the same as log e1 over r squared plus log e b is then equal to log e b of r squared you no know, plus the same as that uh, as multiplication so log e so now what i do i will then cancel both logs so that i'm left with a is equals to sigma r plus b of r um, I'm left with a minus sigma r is equals to b over r squared. If I make sigma r the subject, I have a plus b over r squared. Now that's the Lamas equation for the radio stress. Now for the sigma theta, what I then do, I'll substitute this equation. Let me name it equation. Question 3. So I will substitute equation 3 into equation um, into equation into equation 2.
So if you substitute equation 3 into equation 2, what you will get is sigma theta. Sigma theta is equals to a minus b over r squared. So those are the Lamez equation for the equal cylinder. Sigma r is equals to a plus b over r squared and sigma theta is equals to a minus b over r squared.